guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha and I'm really glad to have you here. Please do want to hit the subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoy watching it, okay? Guys, you know what? I came here to address some of the ships, okay? There are some ships that we've been like, is this what I'm going to sail? Is this what I'm going to sink before you even thinks of sailing? Okay, I'm here to just talk about it because I don't understand what exactly it is that's going on in Biggie's house. It's just been 72 hours in Biggie's house and all this crazy ass madness has happened already. By the way, I'm filming this on Thursday, but I'm talking about everything that happened in Biggie's house yesterday, being Wednesday, the third day of the show. First things first, let's talk about Eric and Lilo, okay? Me, I know. May I know, say, Eric don't fall for this babe. Like, not even one tell me now. No, in fact, I think he has even forgotten that he's there to play a game. Because he thought they follow Lilo everywhere. And the Lilo too is not making things easy for the guy. First of all, you told us that you have a boyfriend outside. And let me tell you guys, that conversation she was having when she was telling the other housemates that she has a boyfriend outside of the house. She did not say it where Eric was. In fact, she made sure of that, okay? Eric had gone to have his bath. When she started having that conversation, you know, she told them that eh, she and Eric are just close, they are just friends. I don't understand. You are just friends. When we say yesterday night, it's like the 12th now, one enter each other's mouth. Guys, I have proof, okay? I have receipts, and I'm going to place it here for people to see. I'm like, what is wrong with this girl? That's the thing. All these girls that be like, I have a boyfriend outside. Can you people just keep quiet for a bit, okay? Keep quiet for a bit. Nobody's interested in knowing whether you have a boyfriend or not. Last, last, now, now, go still lose guard. And that's what Lilo is doing now. Because this guy, as far as I'm concerned, he has fallen head over heels in love with this Lilo girl. See, you don't even forget saying that Big Brother House is dead. Anyways, let's talk about this triangle between Ozo, Dorothy, and Nengi. I know on Twitter, people have been calling Ozo different kinds of names. People think he's confused. Like, uh-uh, you told us that your spec is fair, is this, is this. How come you are following breast? Okay? You're following Dora, no Dora, Dora, Dora. How come? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Anyways, how come you're following Dorothy? Dorothy is not light skinned, okay? Dorothy is caramel. Go, Dorothy Dor 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 is caramel. There's no comparison between caramel and light skin, okay? Look, let me tell you guys here. Yeah, for me, I feel like he actually likes Nengi, okay? But the thing is, he's bonding more with Dorothy, and there's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with that yet. Now, the only reason I feel he's bonding more with Dorothy was because the first day they got into Biggie's house, he spent more time with Dorothy. I told you guys that he did not get a bed, you know, so he slept on Dorothy's bed and of course the tap current. That one is even constant, okay? Nobody's come and argue that one with me. But from a tweet I saw yesterday, somebody was saying something like, oh, he was telling Dorothy that he actually likes Nengi, but that Nengi is marriage conscious. Like, she's always talking about marriage and stuff like that. I don't know. I did not hear that. I did not watch that. If you did see that, if you did hear it, let me know in the comment section. Personally, I feel like he's just friends with Dorothy. Okay, I feel like he shares more with her because, again, they've been able to vibe. And you guys can tell that Dorothy is everybody's friend. You know, she's very friendly. She's very easy to talk to and all of that. So, maybe that's why he feels more comfortable talking to Dorothy about Nengi. But I know that he likes Nengi. Okay, me, yeah, I know. He likes Nengi. He keeps looking at her when she passes. But it's just a case of, I don't know how she's going to react. I don't know if she's going to keep talking about marriage, if that's actually the case. But then again, it's too early for any girl to be talking to any guy about marriage in the house. You guys have spent only 72 hours now. Come on, come on. Anyways, guys, let's talk about Neo and V. Guys, how did that happen? How did we get there? Oh, my, if you see the way V called me Neo yesterday night, I see, I, I wait till you when it happened, I know that sister wants to be in a relationship by all means. I don't know, she's trying to give me this Kathy vibe because Kathy just wanted to be in a relationship with somebody. And I'm seeing those traces with V. You know, last night they were on that bed that's outside in the garden, you know, that swinging bed. She, when the other guys were playing table tennis, you know, she and Neil were on that bed. She just carried leg, yeah, twist the boy, you know, put one leg on top of the boy. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, what is wrong with this Neil? He was just smiling sheepishly as well. I'm sure that he wasn't expecting to be really close to anybody at least not now it feels like it's early for him but then the way everything is going he doesn't even know what is going to happen like this because you know small time he will look at V who was actually in his arms and he will smile he will remove his face again he will look at her he will remove his face again V2 will look at him like what I was like what's wrong with these two people at least that is even better than this Lilo and Eric Cohn guys you see that last night here eh? Lilo and Eric the only thing we remember is they made them just kiss now Lilo was there talking about things talking about eh, trying to bond with others Eric was just there. Waiting day, Baba Mai now. Can we just kiss now? Can we just kiss now? My mind was just like, you guys should just kiss already. All this was Lilo is saying the story. Because you guys are already under the duvet. You know, his hand was already around her. So the only thing that remained, not to kiss, 
But last last, cameraman come on touch from there because it be like I said we don't see too much. Okay, guys, they also had a task yesterday. Now it wasn't so much of a big deal. Okay, I think they were just split into two or so. Some of the housemates were expected to create nose masks for the rest of the other housemates, while the other team were expected to make um, hand sanitizer. And you know the nose mask was good, like they did really well with it. But for the hand sanitizer, I heard my friends were saying, guys, this one no be hand sanitizer. This one a lubricant. And I'm like, oh my god, where did they get all these housemates from? Where did concern lubricant, concern hand sanitizer? And then one of the female housemates and opened it, trying to put it on her hand to see if it was as thick. As what praise was saying, cause from what praise was saying, then maybe the thing was actually too thick and slimy. I really don't know. I no touch her, so I no fit up. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the remaining housemates that had their diary sessions yesterday. I know I brought you guys a voiceover yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I put out like two videos yesterday, guys. Oh, I'm on a video spree. Anyways, on a more serious note, I know I brought you guys a video about the housemates that had their diary sessions on Tuesday. You know, so today I'm also going to talk to you guys about the other housemates that had their diary sessions yesterday being Wednesday but just like that one this is actually going to be in form of a voiceover as well because I recorded it last night but I was just too tired to edit let's just move on to the voiceover so that you guys can hear what the other housemates had to tell Biggie about their experiences what they expect and all of that stuff trust me you need to listen because some of the housemates were asking for the impossible Dorothy number one she was asking for washing machine that she does not have the capacity to wash her clothes with her hands O'Shea Oh she is like queen, you cannot wash your clothes. Anyways guys, just listen to that, alright? Today I'm going to start off with Prince, okay? I don't think I've spoken about Prince on this channel for too long. Anyways, Prince thinks that it's been an amazing time in Biggie's house so far and he's very grateful for the opportunity. In fact, he said that the lockdown they had before coming to the house was such a crazy experience and that he's glad he started reading the Bible and also tried to concentrate. Prince also thinks that he cannot tell what his chances of winning are right now because, I mean, it's all in the hands of the viewers, you know, regardless of who is the top five and all of that stuff, yeah? He also thinks that his fellow housemates are doing good for themselves before the house and he respects all of them. He also mentioned to us that some of the housemates, they have hidden agendas and that he's waiting for their true colors to start showing we too we are waiting for your own true color to start showing it's not only you that will be pointing fingers anyways he's not really bonding yet with everyone but then he's getting close to some people like nengi katrina and lakon he also told us that the head of house challenge pain him gone and i taught him that just a second can make you either a winner or a loser he also asked biggie for some dumbbells basically to work out blah 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 biggie now said okay it's fine that he will look into it you guys know how big will be promising them heaven and earth don't worry i'll look into it and Anyways guys, it was time for Tolani badge and you know for her, she said she's trying to get comfortable in Biggie's house and she's also trying to get comfortable in the kitchen just so she can know those that will get close to her and all of that stuff. She's still observing in her words but then she's grateful for the opportunity. Now about the housemates, she also thinks that the crowd is interesting. I don't know why she refers to them as the crowd. Anyways, she also thinks that some of the housemates are funny because she's been laughing for her. Tricky is really funny. He makes her laugh and she also thinks that Brito is actually very funny but then he doesn't talk so much. She also told us that V is very relatable because, you know, V is from London while she, Tolani herself, is from America. So in her words, we have a lot of things to talk about. Omo now now no, now now sabi. Anyways, for the isolation experience, she told us that it was crazy. In fact, that she had to read the Bible. She specifically mentioned reading Psalm and Luke and she prayed a lot and learned the importance of having breakfast and that it's okay to be by yourself. I mean, if you did not know that before now, then I'm glad you know that now. Shisha told us that she's trying to be strategic and that she had like a hundred percent chance of winning the show she also wants to restrain from distractions especially from the men in the house uh, sister we did not say that you have to be with any guy in the house but if you can't change your mind later i go finish you i go finish you okay anyways that was basically what she discussed with big brother aside from her telling biggie to please turn off the light bulbs in the night that the light doesn't let her sleep da 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 Guys, let's just move on to Kaisha because Kaisha broke down in the diary room. I don't understand. That's her first diary session. You know what? Let's just talk about it. Kaisha started by telling Biggie that the house is lovely but that the tension in the house is too much. She thinks that the housemates are fake. I don't understand. All the housemates are fake. Kaisha, are you joking? She went on to tell Big Brother that today somebody is nice to you, tomorrow the person is not nice to you anymore. Big Brother now told her that, look, it is left for you to adapt and face whatever challenges that comes to you. That he believes that she has whatever it takes to survive, which is why she made it in the house in the first place. Now, while she was still crying, she was telling Biggie that, oh, she thought she was already bonding with Erica. She thought she was already bonding with Wathoni and Nengi. But then that they have changed. I don't understand. Biggie just told you to go and face it. Shisha went on to tell us that right now she 
she's not bonding with anybody now when they were talking about the isolation period and all of that she said she learned that she can stay alone without having anyone around her and that she's also learning to talk to herself so sister you need to talk to yourself again because it's like you're already getting carried away i understand that everybody is trying to couple up everybody is trying to form an alliance and all of that and it's really difficult for her because guys um, nobody they follow the girl talk like that like that cha. and i don't know she's actually giving me cindy vibes now i feel like cindy is even more outspoken than kaisha is um if you guys do not agree just let me know in the comment section but you know when they came into the house i was just like ah this one's another cindy but cindy ja passed this one now when biggie talked to her about the chances of winning the show she was like and that she knows she can win but she's scared of her emotions getting in the way but then regardless she's willing to push herself now she also said she wishes everyone can be more loving and you know can be able to spread love and light for her the fakeness is just too much and that's all she can say right now biggie now asked her to talk to the housemates about it because he feels like she has the ability to provide love light and strength to the world when they do not give it as well for me i feel like if someone is treating you in a certain way that you do not like it's okay to confront the person maybe not in a rude manner i mean the manner you approach me is even very important if you come to me and talk to me anyhow i'll give it to you anyhow but if you come to me and talk with sense then you know we can vibe i can apologize if i feel like i did something wrong now, moving on to Tricky T, he said that his experience so far has been very amazing, he thinks everyone is a dream team, you know, he likes working with them, he likes the people there, he likes the food, he also told Biggie that their condition is too much. <laughs> Biggie, air condition is too much and it gets even colder at night. Biggie, I don't know what your plan is, oh. He said, you know, no reason big intentions, be where we say that for night, everywhere will come cold. Maybe Biggie wants them to be coupling up and all of that, sha. Anyways, he told us that the housemates are okay for now and that he's actually very close to Watoni. He also mentioned that he likes Nengi because their ancestors know each other. I mean, I don't really understand what the guy they talk, Sha. He mentioned again that he also likes Eric, even though Eric is very muscular and all of that, but that he thinks that Watoni is his potential ally. Guy, we understand. Even from defense, they won't enter Biggie House. You don't already go call up her. Now you they wear her, her microphone. Now you deal with them. Now you they hug them. Now you they call and friend, bestie, bestie. Brotherly, we they look you. We they look you. Now, when it was time to talk about about his chances of winning he said he believes that he has a very good chance to win even though winning depends on a lot of things but then regardless he's very confident and then about the head of house game he told biggie that it's actually very challenging that it's not really about your strength and he liked that everybody had a fair chance of playing the game now it was time for auntie dorothy and you know the girl just has like very positive vibes she said her experience in the house has been great everybody is warm and that she's trying to get to know everybody aside the dramas that come up sometimes but that regardless of that everybody will be fine you know she also thinks that everybody Everybody has a good energy and that's about it for now because she's cool with every day and you know she's trying to take every day as it comes now when they spoke about who she was actually bonding with she was like and for now she doesn't really know who she sees herself bonding with but that she's actually close to Ozo now when they spoke about the head of house game she said it was really fun but it was actually tricky as well she thinks that the obstacles were savage and she was looking forward to the next week's session and then speaking about the isolation experience she was like oh she never imagined staying by herself without a phone and that the first two days of the isolation felt like she was going to lose her mind in her words it was a crazy wonderful experience because she learned how to enjoy her company sleep more and meditate now speaking about her chances of winning she was like eh that she rates herself a 10.5 on a scale of 1 to 10 oh shit anyway she went on to tell us that she knows she can win this because everyone loves her even though she's aware that that doesn't really matter but that she's simply confident that it's going to be a good game eventually now the part that cracked me up in dorothy's session was when she asked big brother for a worship machine sisterly sisterly you are there to hustle for yourself okay you i understand that big is giving people food it be like i said too much food too much drink when they give now don't they enter your head now you want a washing machine in her words she doesn't have the facility to wash her clothes with her hand okay in a sugodio ibo you don't speak english okay you go wash clothes, you go tire. You go wash clothes, you go tire. And I, I was patiently waiting for Biggie's response. Now, let me just tell you what Biggie said to her. Biggie told her to go and ask the other housemates to teach her how to wash with her hands or better still help her wash since she told us earlier that everybody likes her i was like okay even this big itself is savage okay this guy itself is savage like he's trying i know i missed the other biggie but then look people deserve to be given chances okay so yeah i'm willing to work with this big brother anyways it was time for lecon aka olami lecon now before i go into lecon's diary session can we just take a moment to appreciate the guy okay because when 
when he came into the house, you know, a lot of people were looking down on him. But he has done so well by convincing us without any single doubt that there's more to him than just his dada hair. There's more to him than just having a small stature. The guy is good. The guy is intelligent. And guess what, guys? He's the first lockdown housemate to be verified on Instagram. Okay? Yeah. Forget say you get fine face, not be by fine face. He's the first and only housemate to be verified so far. I know that with time, the other ones too will be verified. Secondly, contrary to what people have been saying that, oh, he was one of the best graduating students and all of that, there's been a list of graduating students in the Department of Philosophy that goes to show that Leko graduated with a second class upper. And for me, that's still a very fantastic result. Not be until you finish with first class. Some first class people, they never see work, okay? So whether in a third class you get, or whether in a pass you get, is what you do with your certificate that matters. Now that I have gotten that out of the way, I just felt like you guys needed to know that because the insult is becoming too much for this guy. Let's just get straight into his diary session. Now for him, he mentioned that so far so good, his experience has been nice in Biggie's house and that he has met new people and he's getting to know them. He also thinks that everyone is still trying to settle down. You know, for him, things will go well and he's very grateful to be in Biggie's house. Leko also thinks that the housemates are great and that some of them are still trying to adjust. He also mentioned that some people are not really making it easy for others but that generally they're still all trying to get to know one another and he's sure that things will get better now when asked about having an ally he said for now he doesn't think he has specific allies but in his head yeah he's taking it one step at a time he also told us that whether people like him or not he doesn't want to put a lot of pressure on himself because he doesn't want to end up performing lesser than he would have done okay now speaking about the head of house challenge he was like eh, the game was fun but for him he wasn't happy because again he couldn't even get his six but then in as much as that made him feel a certain type of way he still understands that it was a game of chance and there's nothing he could have done about it so next time he's praying for luck now when they were talking about the isolation experience it was like for him that wasn't exactly a new experience but then this time around he just didn't have his phone so he had to adjust he also told us that he learned some things about himself like you know what he wants outside of music the kind of people he needs around him and so on he also told us that he tried to walk out from time to time but then walking out is not his style so he stopped but then generally he thinks that he grew more during this period and that was a good thing for him he learns that it's important for him to start telling people how he feels about them you know when he misses them he should be able to express it because again we really don't know what tomorrow holds now when biggie asked him if there was anything he needed it was like biggie can you please give me one minute to just be creative and make a freestyle for you and i was like biggie you should just be between the both of us because you know i don't have virus to write my songs and you know i can't really pen things down so if you allow me to do the freestyle for you once in a while that that would also keep him going and then Biggie was like, Lekon, I truly appreciate this, but I'll have to talk to you about that later. I know Biggie now. Biggie with a wine fire. Anyways, it was time for praise. And praise mentioned that the Big Brother experience has been fun. And, you know, he's really glad that he has been able to meet everyone in the house. He also thinks that all the housemates have different personalities and that so far so good. Everyone is fun and accepting. He has not really had any issues with anybody. Now, when they were talking about having an ally, he was like, for now, he can't really see anyone as a potential ally but that he thinks he could consider Neil, Eric and Katrina as his allies. Now speaking on the head of house challenge, Prez told us that he wasn't really happy about his performance during the game because he could have done better even though it's a game of chance but he hopes to do better next time. Now speaking on the isolation experience was like oh that was really difficult for him at first but then it got better. He told us that he read during this period and that he thanks the isolation for it. He should have told us that he read the bible from the beginning to the end. I think I've mentioned this to you guys before and then when Biggie asked him what his chances of winning where he was like for now he can't really say because everybody is a threat but as far as he's concerned he came to win the show regardless okay next up was v and when biggie asked her what her experiences were so far she was like eh, it's been a lot easier than she expected it to be and she's very comfortable especially with the girls everyone is nice everybody is friendly not what she really expected she actually mentioned that there's been small disagreements here and there but everyone is behaving themselves so far now biggie asked her what her thoughts were on the fellow housemates and she was like for now everybody is fine but that she has this really cool thing with neo i told you guys earlier in this video that she don't they color with the guy somehow somehow she was like eh, neo is funny she also mentioned lilo she mentioned bright she mentioned katrina she mentioned tricky t she shall mention that she likes everyone she hasn't really had a proper conversation with bright O. but that's so far so good the people she mentioned are her guys but then in the future her opinion can change people rather ask her who she sees as her potential ally of course who were people expecting her to call the first person on her list was Neil. She also mentioned Tricky T. She went on to tell us that she's actually closer to the guys than the girls. You know, that out of the girls, she would pick Lilo. Now, when Biggie asked her what her chances of winning was, she was like, before she came into the house, she was so sure 
of her chances but that now there are some big and brighter personalities so she will rate herself 70 out of 100 percent for now now when they were talking about her isolation experience she was like ah if she had spent a few more days in that lockdown she would have lost her mind you know she slept so much that the only good thing for her was the food she spoke to herself a lot she stared at the wall a lot she thought of her past relationships that had failed and wondered what she could have done better she just said a lot of things when biggie asked her if she needed any other thing she also talked about the light issue that biggie should please turn off the light at night because it doesn't really let her sleep now it was time for Lilo and when Biggie asked her what her experiences were so far she was like and she's really excited that she doesn't really like the argument between she and Lucy you know because I don't know what she and Lucy were always dragging that day they were doing the introduction she told Lucy that eh, I know that you were just waiting for me to finish talking and get out and Lucy's like I did not say that if you have an issue with me come and meet me and stop assuming that I said things they she had a little argument that night so I'm guessing that that's what she was talking about but she was like eh, they've sorted things out that she's having a good time she wasn't really loud I don't understand she was just talking small small I was just training my ears to hear what she was saying anyways Biggie then asked her what her thoughts were on the fellow housemate she was like eh, she couldn't have wished for other people everyone is cool she thinks that they're doing good and that they're cool people as well now when Biggie asked her who she has bonded with, she was like, hey, I bonded with Eric, I bonded with V, I bonded with Neil, but I bonded with Eric the most, I guess. I'm like, is this one okay? You guess. You guess. <laughs> I bet no don't make us come for you. You guess waiting. Biggie was now like, okay, why do you think you are bonding with the people you mentioned? She was like, eh, they are the ones she's bonding with right now. Biggie that asked her again that that's not the answer to the question. Why do you think you are bonding with those people you mentioned? She now started laughing. Then she was now swinging that Biggie's chair in the diary room. She was like, eh, they're the ones that are making her comfortable for now, but that she's hoping to bond with others. Biggie now told her to stop swinging the chair. Okay, baby, don't forget in a diary session she be she not day primary school again. I don't know, but Biggie she wanted to do a member with this Lilo. Cause he kept on asking her that look, I've noticed how close you are with Eric. So do you want to talk about this development? I'm like, ah Biggie, where's it be your business? And she was like, I mean, he talks to me a lot, you know, she can't change voice, can't they talk small, small. At some point she didn't even know what to say. She now started muttering some things. I'm like, what is wrong with this girl? She's like, I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? You don't know what? Anyways, moving on. Big Brother now asked her what her chances of winning the game was. And yet again, I couldn't really hear what she was saying. She was just muttering some words that, you know, you have to open up your brain to hear what she was saying. Big Brother she had moved on from the question and asked her what her thoughts were on the head of house game. She was like, eh, something she likes doing and that she had fun doing it. But now when Big Brother asked her about her isolation experience, she was like, eh, normally she's always by herself. So she didn't really see anything different with this one. Now it was time for Tochi to speak. And you know, when he was talking about his experiences so far, for him, he mentioned that he has met a lot of people from different walks of life with different attitudes and it's just a whole lot of vibe. You know, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, but he thinks he's beginning to get a hang of it. Now, Big Brother now asked him what his thoughts were on the other housemates. He was like, eh, that he thinks that they are okay, that they are cool, but he's still getting to know most of them and the way they behave. But for now, they are cool. Now, when they were not talking about his potential ally, he was like, for now, he would mention Kid Wire because he thinks that the guy is good, you know, the way he carries everybody along. He also mentioned Dorothy because she's a people's person he mentioned prince because prince is good but that the person he's really close to right now is kid wire now when we we're talking about his isolation experience he mentioned that it was a very crazy experience you know not being able to talk to anyone or use your phone just being in one space was different from what he was used to but then he has learned to overcome anything in life as long as you want to overcome those things you know now when big brother asked him what his chances of winning were he was like for now you cannot really say what his chances are but that he wants to win this show badly that he wants to really win this show that he knows that some of the other housemates are better than him and you know they came with like stronger energy and he knows that he might not be able to do so much to match their energy and you know that's kind of affecting his confidence but then that if he wants to be honest with us he will rate himself a 50 50 chance now when biggie asked me about the head of house game he was like he was actually tensed when biggie started giving them the instructions and all of that and then when the game started and biggie called his name the tension increased but that he's very sure that he will do better next time that he'll put in more effort and try to be more competitive now that's it for the diary session okay now that you've listened to that yeah it is safe for me to say that i've covered everything that happened on wednesday all right so i'm going to bring you guys a video tomorrow morning about the tasks that they're going to have today if i have strength am i still filming this night if not we'll talk about it in the morning okay either ways i'm definitely going to bring you guys the gist okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one bye guys